What's up, guys? It's your boy, Jamaica here, coming at you with another deck tech. This is my Opalescence list. Uh, the uh, genesis of this deck is actually really interesting. I was trying to find a different way of actually making the card Hypergenesis good. And instead of just having, like, you know, inner battlefield creatures, and, and you, you just kind of kill your opponent. And if that doesn't work, then you just, like, hard cast them, or you play, like, Quicksilver Amulet. I wanted to have, like, a built-in combo that you could actually feasibly play while being, like, good. And then just if you had Hypergenesis, you get it just faster, basically, while doing the other Hypergenesis stuff. And some combo I randomly thought of was um, Opalescence plus Enchanted Evening. So if all, if all other, like, permanents are, like, enchantments, basically, with Enchanted Evening, and then you have Opalescence, you basically just, like, Armageddon. And then you have, like, a 4-4 and a 5-5. Five, five. This is all other? Or each other. So you have, like, a 5-5. Five, five. So, I mean, that's, like, pretty good. It's, like, a 5-5... Five, five, Armageddon, I guess. So <laughs> that was like my idea, I guess. And then I started putting this together in sort of a weird control shell with like black and white um, expertise cards. And then I cut all that because it felt really clunky. And now this is where I'm at with this Enchanted Evening Obalescence deck. So um, here we are. And I'm going to try it out today. So we got 24 lands. Um, trying out all these Scry lands, Tumble Science, and Silver Cold. There's not a lot of like card manipulation in this deck. So I, I hope it's good enough. It's more of like a control deck, I would say, with this like two card combo as because not really like a combo because yeah, it's cool to like arm again your opponent's lands and your own lands too as well. But um once you have this in play, you just have to like kill with it. So and that's pretty much it, because your opponent can't really play any more lands because they'll just die because of the opalescence, because there'll be like zero zeros. So um you need to like clear the board and you need to clear the board or clear their hands in some way so they can't like counter it. So, the first idea was just to have a bunch of discard spells. I have Duress and Agonizer and Remorse to kind of just, like, try to, like, empty the hand of the opponents. Um, if your opponent actually has enchantments, I'm actually playing four main deck Seal of Cleansings. Because, like, once you have, like, you could just have a Chain of Evening, and then all of a sudden Seal of Cleansing is literally, like, Doomblade. Like, super Doomblade. It's pretty great. Um, and it's also good because, like, you know, Affinity is, like, a deck, and there's other decks that have, like, enchantments. Like, Cycling is, like, Lightning Rift. Those, those things. It's good. It's good enough, I think. Uh, Seal of Doom, just another random enchantment um, that kills something. It's kind of important for random later cards. Privileged Position, to just protect, like, the combo of um, Opalescence. Opalescence and Enchanted Evening. It's kind of another big enchantment that just turns into a, a, a fat Opalescence. Age of Erebos is an enchantment, but it's also a creature, and it also nukes a graveyard. Kind of randomly important for uh, Open the Vaults. If your opponent actually does play, like, artifacts or enchantments in their graveyard, uh, you want a nuke their board, so it's just kind of randomly there. You can also find it with Idyllic Tutor, which is like a two of in this disc. Uh, single the Empty Throne. Another just it's like an alternate win condition for like a late game. So if somehow they're disrupted by this stuff, you could play like a random Sigil and um, make a bunch of angels and kind of win that way. Uh, Day Judgment is kind of a, a good sweeper here. Vindicate, just a catch-all. This deck is really random. I hadn't really played any test games. You, you can tell in my voice where I'm just kind of like, saying, yeah, this does this and this does that. It's because I don't really know what's going to happen. Uh, the sideboard here, uh, definitely Silence is an anti-combo card. Arc of the Sun's Grace. I'm really actually worried about Slaughter games when I built this deck. So that's why I have this random Sigil and I have this like, Archons of Sun's Grace. Because if you... If you just, like, um, which I can't stop, by the way, because I haven't even put any, like, uh, uh, self safeguards in here. If you just, like, slaughter games, like an Obalescence, your deck doesn't do anything. So I had to put some, like, alternate winning on. So I have, like, Archon and Sun's Grace. Ivory Mask, mostly for, like, burn decks. Uh, you know, just giving yourself Shroud. It's pretty nice. Also, I guess, good against slaughter games if you get it out first. Uh, extra uh, discard spells and Cascade when, like, these removal spells aren't really that good. Uh, extra Wrath, Merciless Eviction. Exiling is actually a really important uh, aspect. If you just, if you somehow get the 6 mana against Finity, you exile their artifacts. I don't know how they can win. I'm not really sure. And then Torment's Crypts for, like, random graveyard decks. Also, I guess you could bring it in against Affinity if you want to try to still open the vaults, but I'm not really sure. But it's just it's just kind of there. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to play in a tournament today. We're going to figure out if this deck is any good. It's going to be streamed on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Anders for Mecca. The description has the link. It's right below here, so you should like, follow, and subscribe to this video, and also just go follow the Twitch too. That's really helpful for me. If you're not doing that already, which I'm pretty sure you are, but if you're not, just go ahead. If you have a Twitch account, go follow it over there. And, uh, yeah, enjoy the matches. Alright, round two with the, uh, deck I'm playing today. <laughs> um, 
I actually got a round one buy ish. The gentleman's buy because my opponent didn't show up. So I'm already one to know. Pretty good. Pretty sweet. I'm gonna mulligan this hand because it doesn't have any black mana. I'm gonna keep this hand because it has black mana, but nothing else is going on. Guess I'll care to just open the vaults. Alright. Woodland Chasm, my favorite land in this format. <laughs> I have to rant for another 30 minutes. I don't want to do it. Okay, it's an astrolabe. Never mind. We're not gonna we're not gonna rant. I was making goblins. Oh, is this maybe this maybe it's like a snow deck? Looks like we're snowing here. Let's take a look, see what's happening. The duress. Oh, their plans are foiled. Man, the pause here. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Um, excuse me. Land repeal. Garrick. Nickel Bolas and the Stubborn Denial. Stubborn Denial is kind of annoying against my deck. I just have to constantly play around it. The Tree Folk is actually pretty gross, too. Garrick can be annoying, but I have to Vindicate. Honestly, these things are... Hmm. I guess these things are just easily countered by the Vindicate, so I'll just I'll take Stubborn Denial. So we'll just remember that. So I drew the Estuary, okay. Nice one. This is like... Okay. I mean, just like Garrick on tap two lands, repeal their thing. Draw a card. More. That's kind of a cool play. Or just go for the tree folk. It's big. It's a six war. It's a big dude. It's a big guy. Okay, Garrick. Also respectable. Make a beast is nice. Okay. I found my enchanted evening. I will just vindicate this guy to start. Maybe I slam the sigil. Or maybe I just have to kill this this guy. I think I just have to kill this guy. Okay, I found I found everything. I found everything I want here. I've got the, I, I'm doing the thing. I'm going to do the thing real quick. I could just, like, hang out, play Stiggle, Enchanted Evening Obalescence. It's kind of funny. I think I'm going to play Stiggle first. Because they have, like, this guy, and this guy is kind of annoying. If they play another random thing, it's going to be a little annoying. They don't have the man to repeal all my stuff. I don't know if they're playing counter magic either. I mean, they have stubborn denial, but I may have drawn another one. But I'll lead. I'm gonna lead with the uh, Sigil for sure. Okay, a guy again, annoying. It's annoying. I guess I have to go for Sigil here. Um, because I need to start blocking this guy. I think it's Trample. It's kind of annoying. Well, I guess I could, like, Opalescence and then, like, have a 5 5 and a 4 4 next turn. I also, like, plop down a billion more Snow Threats. Okay, that's annoying. It's not cool. It's just not. That's not chill. <laughs> I need to draw a Day of Judgment. Day of Judgment would be really nice here. 
Vindicate's not bad, but it doesn't really help my position that much. Kind of like on a two turn clock. I can't kill a 3 3, it's just annoying. Um, I guess I'm just dead to the 3 3. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm just dead to the 3 3. Okay. Fortunate. My slower my slow enchantment got killed by their slower enchantment. Okay, um. Hmm. I'm gonna bring it in here. I guess like castigate against this kind of deck. I think dress is actually pretty fine. I want a couple. More. I think I, I think I want some day judgments. I don't know how many I need, but Seal of Doom's got to clean up a lot here too. I'm not sure if I need Agent of Erebos. Although Agent, honestly, okay. So they have one card that's really annoying in their deck. It's like Binding. No, that's only if I play Open the Vault. So bring. In, I want to bring in some Castigates for sure. Prince positions could be good too. Hmm. I'm gonna cut. I'm just gonna tutor, I guess. I could open the vault at the correct time and it'd be really nice. Alright, let's just try this. I'm not really sure where should we be going against this deck. This deck is a weird, like. Sultai mid-range deck, so I don't know if discard spells are going to be super great. Typically, mid-range, like, in the mid-range battle, you don't really want discard, you just want to deal with the board. So maybe I actually should have brought in the Merciless Evictions. I don't know. But I'm going to keep this hand. It's okay by me. Um, what a bottom this. I'm gonna leave with the rest, um, just so I can play my silver quill. It's a day of judgment, so shouldn't be too worried about creatures. All right, what is blood in the snow? I don't care about that. I care about this duress. And this card, too. This card's also really annoying, but I'll take it with the Castigate later. So. The, the Garrick is kind of whatever. Um, I guess the Garrick's also kind of annoying. Did I miss a land drop? <laughs> did I forget to play a land? I did. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I just kind of forgot. I was just, like, talking a lot. The coffee is not kicked in, clearly. Um, I was thinking so hard about that, and then I forgot to do the thing. I think I have to hit the Garrick now. Kind of changes things up a little bit. Okay, they drew a Stubborn Denial, which I can't cast, so I guess we'll take this Garrick. What's really bad about the Binding is now it kind of ramps up in the blue mana. Okay, they found a duress. So now they realize I just missed my land drop on purpose. Now, it's, now I'm just embarrassed. I just concede, probably. I just, like, casually missed my own land drop. Being casually missed my own land drop. Not a big deal. So if I just, like, run out the binding? No? Okay, they're just gonna hang out. Okay, I have my Dillic Tutor, but anything dies to this. I, I probably should tutor. Um, I don't know what I would get, though. I'm not sure. I'm thinking about everything that's in my deck right now. I don't know what I could actually tutor for. 
in the face of this like binding, but I feel like I should do it. I guess I'll just get like enchanted evening for now. Okay. Combo. All right. This is the first time I've ever activated this card. Scry. Excited. Um. I do need land, so I will keep that on top. Basically, what I want to do is play Evening and then play um, Seal of Cleansing on the Swamp. All right, just gonna play a Braska. This is two. All right, destroys artifact. Okay, so it's it's an annoying card. It's a card that definitely targets me. Okay, so now I can just like, huh? What is target player's life flow becomes one? I don't want that to happen. So, did I forget to scry again? Okay, I'm playing great. I am really playing great. Don't mind me. Just playing like an idiot. Okay, they have double binding. That's uh, super dumb. <laughs> That's really bad. <laughs> That's really, really annoying. Um, Double binding is kind of a thing here. Drink more coffee. Open the vaults is not bad. Although it gets their bindings back, which was like why I was kind of worried about it. It gets all their bindings back. <laughs> um But then again, if I have I have position. I do a privileged position, so that's kind of a that's kind of a ooh. They can't binding my which each other, right? Other permanents. Oh, okay, never mind. Well they can only target the position then. If I had double position, that would have been great. Yeah, I I don't think I need this card. I think I need like a vindicate. All right, so prevent myself from losing. I might just day judgment here, but then I, my tally total is literally at one. I could day, but then they like lose their thing. I don't know. I think I'm gonna day. I think I'll just day and then pass. And then maybe they just make another guy and just try to kill me like that. They might just like give up on the brass. Okay, they're just gonna make a guy. It's cool. It's cool. Amazing. Um. All right. So I guess I have to kill. Nebraska at the expense of my Enchanted Evening. Now nah, I'm just going to lose it all. Maybe just draw another Open the Vaults. And then get all my stuff killed again. I'm gonna upkeep scry, just to kinda see what's up. Okay, like a I don't need that, so go me. Remorse. Um a little late to the party, buddy. Uh <laughs> Okay, they've drawn all the blue cards now. <laughs> um So they're definitely gonna get like a blue blue green land. I guess I'll take another binding.
I could draw a Vindicate and just blow this up, which would be really... Okay, never mind. Actually, I just can't. Kind of solves all, all their problems. Oh, that was a good that was a good draw. That was a really good draw, this Astrolabe. I know how you feel now, Popper. I know. I know how you feel now. I know how you feel now. Alright, Seal Dip doesn't really deal with the board, so I'm gonna bottom that. Alright, there's another remorse. Which is it's countered, I guess. Mind you, I have, like, one of the open vaults I scribed to the bottom. Which would be great to have. I guess I just get to negate this. The mana leak, okay. Mana leak is actually pretty good in that spot. My next, like, billion spells are just gonna get, like, countered. But the clock is not super amazing. Oh, they're going to get their Planeswalker back. Just fine, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if that was good. Okay, I'm going to bottom that. Just looking for a Vindicate or something like that. Hey, look at that. Oh, they have, I guess they have to negate now. They can just negate it. Yeah, that's probably fine. This is, a, this is a nickel bolus. Okay, I'm just gonna concede this. <laughs> I shouldn't have actually conceded, but this is probably right. <laughs> I refuse to get villainous wealth. There's nothing that's coming up anyway. Alright, fun. I, I missed my own land drop, and that's what happens. Totally punished. All right, round three with the uh, Hope Lesson stack here. I'm going to keep this hand. It's kind of slowish, but that's what the deck is. It's just slow. So we'll keep. It's actually a really decent hand in terms of eight tap lands. So my mana is good. My mana is money here. All right. Going to play against Heroic. Kind of a rough one. We'll see what happens. I have an upkeep stop. All right. Go for the temple. Uh, they mold the... They I don't think I need a billion discard spells, so I'm gonna put this on the bottom. Really, really about the rogue decks, it's like it's all about like them having creatures on the board and then stuff stuff to put it on. So if you just stop one half of it, the other half's kind of invalidated. Um so in order to play a turn four wrath, I have to play all my tap lands first, so I'm gonna start with a duress. And this time I yes, I will play my land. Alright, it's a lot of stuff. Um, I'm going to take that Hyena Umbra because it actually negates the Day of Judgment. Open the vault. It's a little slow, a little slow here, so I'm going to put that on the bottom. Like, I want to play an untapped land and get to vindicate something, which would probably be the land. Okay, never mind. They played another land. So this is going to be a bit annoying, the uh, Ethereal Armor Griff Spoon, but I know that my Vindicate's really good. So I might just run out the Vindicate before they play another um another thing. Okay. I think I will just Vindicate, because I don't I can't really take a turn another turn off. Eventually I could just like remove I can actually just agonize more with the Griff Spoon. It's really funny. Okay, Sentinel Eyes, they're watching you. They see your every move. If I play an untapped land here, I might just Day of Judgment just for fun. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Alright, they drew a blank. I'm going to remorse um, one of these enchantments in their graveyard. Um, 
I guess the Santa Lies is like worse or better, so I'll just remove that. I'm gonna plop the evening next turn. Okay. They drew they drew a spell, so I'm gonna totally dress it. Ooh. I'm gonna duress them here. I'm gonna take the spell. Okay, that's not really the greatest spell to take. If I draw a land here, I'm just money. Okay. If I draw an untapped land, I get the idyllic tutor into my thing. And then okay, Seal of Cleansing does pop. Oh, this is actually really good. Now I just have this like thing. Now it just kills creature. Any creature that plays. I'm gonna find my opalescence. And all the lands will be gone in a second, and then I can just kill their creature. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna do it. I'm doing the thing! I'm doing... It doesn't matter, I don't know why I played the land, because it's just gonna go away anyway. <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> We're doing it! So now no more lands can be played, <laughs> and I have some enchantments to just kill my opponent. That's it. <laughs> it worked! I'm doing it! <laughs> Look, Mom, I'm doing it! I mean, my opponent played two creatures and then didn't do anything else. That's the heroic lifestyle, though. Sometimes it just happens. Okay, I'm gonna bring in some more rests. I'm actually gonna bring in the Archons, just to kind of, like, continually help me out. I'm gonna take all these duresses. Duress is not bad, but it's just a bit slow. I don't mind remorse. Remorse can take a creature. Um, I could actually play Deafening Silence, which is actually kind of funny because that means they can't really like chain spells. That's actually actually really interesting. I actually might bring this in. Let's try it. You know what? Let's try, let's try it. I'll cut it open the vaults. Mm, I'll cut. I'll cut this. It's just really slow. Yeah, but if it's good, it's good. You know, I, I just need more rafts, so kind of agent. I agree that's very slow, but if I get to that point, it's really effective too. If I have enchanted evening, I could like if I have to super wipe the board, if I just restart the game, I could totally just wait, does it kill enchantments? Oh, it's right here. So if I'm going to keep this hand. It has almost everything I want. Okay, turn one hoplite. It's a scary start for heroic. Um, top. I just want lands at this point. Turn two, seal of cleansing and the opalescence can kind of like mess things up here. Alright, mask of law and grace. Um, doesn't, that's not bad against the vindicate. So it is a bit annoying, I will say. But I do have like rafts in my deck. Also, I have like seal, seal of doom, so I guess that is pretty effective. I also could just seal it. I could just seal it. That's right. I might just take a bunch of damage though. I don't really want to use the seal. Okay. So now they have Hyena Umbra, which now invalidates the seal a bit. But I guess I still... Okay, this is a bit annoying. I guess I could chill out. Hmm. This is annoying. This is a very annoying spot I'm in. This is a quite an annoying spot. Um, I guess I need to like to set up everything here and to hope that everything works out. I have to vindicate the Hyena Umbra, and then play the old lessons and kill the thing. So, and I hope I have to don't die. So yeah, this is a weird spot, but this is, can I do what you gotta do here?
If I just draw a day of judgment, though, the game's totally fine. But I had to kill the Hadean Emperor for sure. It's, I'm just holding one mana, so... The Opalescence... Okay, I might just die here. I could be de I could be dead. Okay. That's 11. One card left. So I need to draw Day Judgment. Day Judgment's like the best draw I could have. Okay, never mind. I'm dead. Cool. What is this deck? I'm just playing cards, I guess. Uh, I wasn't good there. Okay. Okay. Just gonna run it back, I guess. I think Death Attack is gonna be really good. They can't, like, chain spells like that on me, so... I think that's pretty, pretty good. I could have sealed, true. But I don't think it would have mattered. Honestly. No, you guys are right. I could have sealed, but I don't think it really matters. Because I seal, then I draw a land, and then nothing happens, so I die. I really wish I had Parallax Wave in this list. I re this deck, like, wants Parallax Wave. I want Day of Judgment, too, so I'm like, definitely gonna keep this hand. No, but for sure, I think Seal is the right call. But it doesn't, like, do... Like, what am I gonna do after that? Like, I've hit six lands for the, uh... I have to live two more turns for the Eviction. The damage is already done. But yeah, I gotta keep going. Gotta keep playing. Oh, no one drop. Amazing. Okay, I'm going to take any creature. Um, okay, Phalanx Leader, you're gone. Alright, so here it is. All pants, no creature. Perfect. The perfect start. This is very tempting. This is super duper tempting. Um... This is incredibly... T I'm doing it. <laughs> Dang it, they drew a land. <laughs> Doesn't matter, it's all any creatures. Oh, I have all the evenings. Every evening in place. All the evenings. Okay, they've, they've still drawn nothing. Just need to hit lands every turn now. Or another land would be nice. Opalescence, there we go. Draw a land here, the game's over. But draw any land, the game is kind of over. Before they draw a creature. <laughs> I have day too, so... Okay, there's definitely a delete. This guy's getting loot. <laughs> this guy's getting suited up. Okay, Hyena Umbra kind of blocks that. Okay, wrong land. Um, I want to bottom that because eh, I might top it. I might need it. I don't really care about the creature. It's not too big enough to really do anything. They have a bunch of God's Willings. Okay, so wait. This is their hand. No, this is their hand. So what are they holding here? What, what are they holding that they think is good? I know everything. I'm going to hold. What are you holding? No. What could they draw that's really good? I don't know. I'm just going to day. <laughs> I, just, I kind of just like save a life here. I just, I just said it prevents one damage. All right. One turn to live for them. Otherwise, I'm just plopping this evening down. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, they have one card. Um, I don't know what it could be. It has to be like a race. It has to be like literally a race. All right, everything's gone. All my la all our lands are gone. I win this race. <laughs> Manatized would have been insane. I win this race every day. <laughs> I 
Provoke me. Do it. Okay. I... The game's over. I don't know. Well, we persist. Maybe I won't attack. Maybe I won't attack with my 5-5. Five five. No, they can't play any lands. All the lands are enchantments. Opalescence makes everything an enchantment here. Blows or this is, everything's are enchantments when you chain it evening. Opalescence makes everything non R uh, enchantments power toughness. So no more lands can be played. So whatever is on the board is good. That's a W. We <laughs> that is a W. Somehow beat heroic crazy, but they didn't draw any creatures. So what was that? That's that. All right, round four. Um, I'm gonna keep this hand. It's not bad. I'm not sure what them dogs playing right now. I think he might be he's playing this black red. Okay, he's playing that black red deck. That's really interesting. I have main deck seal cleansing though, so we'll see. Oh, look at the peek. Let's take a peek. Let's take a peek with his duress. Probably gonna be good hits here. Um, you know, I think I probably care most about the blightning. Out of anything here. What does this do? Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll just take the Blightning. Or I just, like, play the Ascension here. They're never gonna see the Seal Clinton coming. Okay. I'm just gonna play the seal and just hold it. I don't think I really need to do much else. If anything, I want to hit the theater of horrors. I don't really care about this card if it doesn't do anything. <laughs> this thing, this card does a bit more, I would say. Totally gonna vindicate this land, by the way. Also. Also, okay, never mind. Maybe I vindicate the mountain. They have another mountain in their hand. I think I'd much rather kill the Theater of Horrors. Huh. Open the Vault's been very unimpressive <laughs> so far. I could Vindicate a land. I don't know if that really matters. Or play Seal of Doom for the eventual Glorybringer. I'm just gonna play the seal. Just like insurance against like a tectonic giant or something like that. I think they play tectonic giant. Yeah, so the M Dog deck is like this weird Blood Chief Ascension sort of like mid range deck. Hey, look at that. I'm a genius. So two cards left, one of them's a Glorybringer, so I, I feel good about uh, vindicating a land. I'm going to wait for my turn. I might draw a land for Day of Judgment. That's the wrong land, so... I will decide to just kill this. They don't get the trigger because it's only spells that target that. I'm going to blow up a land. I'm going to blow up a land just for fun. I need a second white source. It needs to happen soon. Okay, I can just rem I guess I'll just remorse the guy. Okay. Well, I don't think the glory bringer. Just leaving burst lightning, which does trigger the ascension. I don't know what to do here. I actually have no idea. Do I want to tutor for, like, an enchantment that I can't cast? Or do I... I think I'm just going to duress them again. <laughs> or agonize or remorse them again. See what's up. Alright, he's going to dome me in response. Um, this doesn't really do anything to my deck. 
So I think I'm actually going to take a Theater of Hoarders in case I have to play Open the Vaults. So they have a cut the ribbons in their hand. I guess it does trigger the ascension, but it's not a big deal. Not super worried about that. Okay, the jewel land. Still nothing. Something going on. Okay, the druid enchantment. So I'm actually going to just tutor for the obelescence. In case I start to draw it. So I just need a white source, and then I can start locking up the game. Okay, there's, there's my second white source. So I can start just plopping my things down. I don't know how much black red's gonna deal with my enchantments on the board without like a duress effect. They might have a ton of removal that doesn't do anything, which is really cool. Okay, if they play a creature here, it's just gonna get day of judgment in. They're gonna choking sands my land. That's actually really annoying. It's actually quite annoying because it actually triggers the ascension i needed that white source kind of bad i i really needed that white source <laughs> so if they have another choking sands here the ascension is going to activate this is super annoying okay more enchantments. They're playing they're also playing enchantments. That's a bit <laughs> Okay, there's a temple. With the plane, I might actually keep it on top. Seal of cleansings, um, not the worst card. I will probably keep it on top. Maybe just to kill the ascension and kind of hang out. I don't know. Alright, if this is like a creature, I kind of have to kill it with Day of Judgment. Okay. Okay, now I do have the Day of Judgment. Such a value. All right, the last card is the cut the ribbon, so it's completely useless. They have that. They kind of have to top deck on me to do anything. Okay, that doesn't do anything. I mean, there's a lot of enchantments, so maybe it's kind of sand out the opalescence so I can. I guess this is kind of annoying because. The Oblessence triggers all of these, and they can start activating their own cut. So, maybe I go Enchanted Evening first, which doesn't do anything. But it will do something eventually. <laughs> In a second, it will do a lot of things. In about a turn, it will do something. <laughs> I 
We got readers. I can actually even, like, open the vaults and get back some other enchantments and then play Obalescence in a really, like, cheesy way. Even if I get to rest here, I have the open the vault, so it's pretty nice. Okay, they have a theater, which does need to kill. It does need to die, so it will die. Like, I win this race all day, right? No, this is weird. Okay, let me think for a second. Um. This is a weird... I'm in a weird spot. Because they have enchantments. This is the problem here. If I play the Opalescence, they activate everything. And then they have a bunch of, like, random attackers. What's wrong with playing Seal Opalescence? Well, I'm gonna have to seal the Theater of Horrors, which I guess is, like, a 3-3. The Opalescence is gonna turn on all my other opponent's creatures. Um, so... It, it is a bit annoying. I'm at 14. Because, like, I, I really wanted to seal this Blood Chief Ascension, so... The thing is, is, like, they could attack... I, I, I don't get anywhere, I think, if I just have a 5-5 five -five and they have a bunch of 1-1s. I'm not sure if the race really works out. I'm not really sure. I, I haven't done the math. <laughs> I might be sandbagging a bit too hard. Too. Yeah, I guess it's fine. They can't. I guess they can't never really kill the enchanting. They, they, this is the other card in their hand, so it doesn't actually do anything. All right, let's just run it. Oh, let's just run it. I guess even they trigger this, I'll never put a card in my graveyard until I discard. So, I, I think I win that race anyway. Like, I can, I'm never going to, like, play any cards. Unless I discard. The discarding part is kind of... Yeah. Okay. But eventually they have to block. So, like, what, I'm at 8? See, this is the part I was worried about. Because now all these are up. And like me discarding is kind of a kind of a thing. This is why I was like semi worried about this, but they have to block now. Like now they have to block, I guess. So they have to hold one of these back, otherwise they die. Like, all I have to do is keep attacking, I guess. 
So six, five, yeah, I pretty much have this. I didn't do math, I don't do math here. Like these things triggering doesn't matter, so I'm just gonna yield it. All I have to do is keep attacking. Before I start discarding. <laughs> I guess me discarding is gonna be annoying. The math is like weirdly there for them. Like they still have to block this next turn, so they do gain two, but So this is the part that gets hairy. Um But they can't attack with one of them. They can they can attack with one of them. But then they block the next one. But next turn I have to discard. I can't play a land because um all my all my lands are enchantments. And they'll instantly die. Because of Opalescence uh enchanted evening, all the permanents all the permanents are enchantments. And they'll die and turn to a zero zero. So, I mean, they have a turn to live, but it's like, this doesn't matter, I guess. See, so watch, I'll just show you. But you want to discard, the same thing happens. It's going to trigger the ascension no matter what. And no matter what, watch. See, I'll just play this land. Goes to the graveyard. The ascension triggers. But it doesn't matter, I guess. I don't know. This is kind of hairy. So now I can, like, live a turn. So now I'm dead. I'm actually dead here. <laughs> I'm actually dead. Like, they can take a turn. They can attack. I go to two. I'm actually dead here. See, I knew it. I knew I should have... I knew... Oh, my God. I, I totally messed this up. I can't get out of this. I knew I should have actually opened the vaulted. I'm so bad. I knew I should have just, like, played it safe. Because I had everything correct. This is chat lethal. Definitely a chat lethal situation. I knew I knew in my head I was like, there's no way I win this. So I had to like, mm, this is annoying. That was chat lethal for sure. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna stop listening to people and <laughs> continue playing. Um mm. You know what I want to play in this list randomly is Gloria Phantom, so I don't lose my lands. If I play Gloria Phantom, it's actually kind of funny. It's a really funny card. Oh, that's so annoying. That was so annoying because I had that. I really had that game. All I had to do is just like play around a lot of stuff. All I had to do is just like play super slow. Okay. I'm wearing an ivory mask too. Just for like discard effects and like burn spells, maybe. I don't know. I can also try to pivot and play like Archon of Sun's Grace. They, they, they might assume I just don't have any creatures in my deck. I, I might pivot here. No, they're going to play their creatures, so I, I need some day judgments. Because I haven't used this thing at all yet. I kind of like everything else on my list. I like Vindicates a lot. I mean, everything's pretty decent. Maybe I don't bring in the Castigates. I'm not really sure. I'm just thinking about things to cut. I don't particularly like Seal of Doom too much against all their black creatures, so I'm just going to cut one. I'm going to keep Idyllic Tutor. I like Privileged Position. I don't know if, like, Position's even that necessary. They're like, they have to have, like, a bunch of Feed the Swarms. Or, like, Doom Blades. I might just cut it. I think I'm actually going to cut it. This is better against, like, green and white decks, I would say. 
One more card to cut. Um. That's kind of like I did look tutor. I had like, I had 10 seconds there. I didn't really know. All right, this hand's okay. I can keep a bunch of discard spells. That's just a silly game. I think I, I totally had that. I, I I totally had that game. So I just gotta kind of come back from that. All right. Their hand is very, very, very suspect. So I could totally castigate this pyromancer. But I only have two lands, so. We're kind of in opposite positions. Okay, I will take the Pyromancer. It's true. Very true. She needed to hit lands and stuff. Okay. Um, let's just arrest them, get the burst sign out the way before it does any actual stuff. Boom. <laughs> the info is great. So now I, I'm going to feel really bad when they top deck. All right, mountain. Okay. Still nothing go. I need a land. I need just to hit some lands. But this is fine. My opponent's done literally nothing. Okay. Um. Let's get Enchanted Evening for now. So all I have to do is hit lands. My opponent's drawing stone nothing. Alright, this is probably a glory bringer. Sure, I have a bunch of Vindicates in my hand. Am I running? I don't know. This. This is what I'm running. So I take another land and then I can just do the thing. And I have a, I have a seal of cleansing too. To stop anything on the board. I might actually like, if I have a land I might just leave with Enchanted Evening and maybe blow up something. Lightning. Um, that's annoying. I guess it enables open the vaults. I'll do this. Just keep the enchanted evening if I draw a land and I have a I have an onboard like vindicate. Alright, well that, that kinda works too, but it kinda enables their <laughs> it kinda enables their removal if they kept any in their deck. Oh, they, they actually kept removal? I am in... This is insane. <laughs> I can't believe they kept the removal in their deck. They, their last card's like Swamp. <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> I played zero creatures game one. <laughs> zero. Okay, that's why I brought in the Archons, because now I get Slaughter Games each as part of my combo. It's kind of rough. I'm kind of in a rough spot, but I have I have ways of beating this. They should stay Enchanted Evening, because it's in my hand. I 
I know they they played around. They they level two'd me. They definitely level two'd me there. So I planned for this because that's why I have Archon, and at least I still have Obalescence to make my random dirtly enchantments do things. I'm still so upset that I, won I lost that game one. I was like right there. I was just like right there. I just had to like play two more turns before I did my thing. <sighs> All right, I'll peel a battle from here, but it's okay. I have the heart of the cards and they get to look at my deck now. I do have the heart of the cards to guide me. And, I mean, they're just drawing nothing, so. The Karibo ones. The Karibo is the single. Yeah, just, I just have the top. I mean, lands is great. Any lands great, I can start silver quilling. Perfect. This enables a lot of my deck, getting to five. Alright, I have to play super tight. I'm gonna sit up. I'm sitting up. I'm sitting straight up now. I actually don't know if they have a swamp in their hand anymore. Okay, Pyromancer. That, wait, I'm at 9. This is not good. <laughs> I am at 9. <laughs> Alright, bottom that. <laughs> I don't even want to play it. It doesn't do anything. Unless I have, like, an opal. I mean, if I have an opal since it's not bad. I don't even want to play anything. <laughs> I need to scry. I, I just need to scry. Now I feel bad cutting the uh, the seal of doom, but okay. I have the seal of cleansing, so it's not a big deal. Alright, Silver Quill. Push all the lands down, draw all greatness. That's a bottom. I don't really want that right now. Day of Judgment, good. If they have like no priest the, the no priest things, it's gonna be annoying. So I am gonna day here. <laughs> I have to I just ha kinda have to do it. I'm just looking for something to do. I I basically have like two things to do. Opalus is not bad either. I'd have a bunch of two twos. If I draw like open the vaults, it's still not that great, but okay. I'm gonna keep scrying. I'm gonna scry away. No bloodshed ascensions is ever hitting the battlefield ever again. Okay. I have the answers. I have all the answers to this. That's a bottom for me. Slow and steady wins the race here. I was too I was too impatient game one, so I'm gonna say it's super duper slow now. Hmm, unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Cause I'm at two. Now I just died to a burst lightning. <laughs> Or, like, a, a Pyromancer. <laughs> okay, at the bottom. I do need to hit open vaults. There's a two of them in my deck. Alright. One time, God. It's three or counters, right? It's three, right? Okay, it's three quest counters. Okay, that wasn't it. I guess I could arrest my opponent. <laughs> Got him! Alright, I'm dead to like a billion cards out of their deck. I'm dead to like so many cards from their deck. So many cards kill me off the top. Okay, they played their land I knew about. 
Am I dead? Sunol Priest? Okay. Wait, I'm dead. No, I'm dead to that. Um, yeah, I'm dead. They just get back the Pyromancer and I die. Good draw. Good draw. GG's! I suck! That was great. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe I punted that game one. But that's what happens. That is magic in a nutshell. I totally had that game one. I really did. That was just unfortunate. I just had to do math and not listen to people. <laughs> All I had to do was math. But it's okay. It's okay. A quick final thoughts of the deck. Um, I don't know if I really needed Age of Erebos. I thought it was like something cool to do with Idyllic Tutor. But I probably just want more Day of Judgment. So I think I will switch this for Day of Judgment. Um, step one. Step two is kind of like protecting everything. I, I, I don't know about Pluto's position. I don't think I really need it. I don't know why it's even... I mean, all I want to do is this. So all I want to do is this, and then clear the board. I think it's more of a sideboard card. So I don't think I needed all those discard spells. So maybe I'd get rid of this. Put this here. Um, Slaughter Games is a problem. I will mention that. So maybe if I had played like Ages of the Gods, that'd be kind of nice. It's also an enchantment that triggers this. I have one less card. So maybe instead of this, I can play like Aegis of the Gods. Lost Legacy named Slaughter Games? Yeah, I'll just get them. Just get them, right? Um, I like... Yeah, that's it. That's... You got it there. That's the entire plan. <laughs> Open of Vault was a bit slow, albeit like kind of like a game-saving card if I ever got there <laughs> with it. Um, maybe I want just a bunch of idyllic tutors. I think I just want a bunch of idyllic tutors. Honestly. I don't have, like, selection. That's the other problem. I don't have, like, a ton of ways of drawing cards. Like, read the bones or whatever. Read the bones could be okay. But I think a tutor just kind of gets to the point of where I want to be. So I think I want another tutor. And then, hmm. I wish I I could fit a second sigil. Maybe I want like a second sigil over the sec. Maybe this. Maybe it's like something like this. Sorry, I'm just like moving this around. I don't know. I think the deck is funny. It's in the sideboard. It's a pivot plan. I kind of want to play, like, Creature List Game 1 and then bring in some Creatures Game 2. It's kind of like the pivot plan. I don't know about Merciless Eviction. That might be a bit slow, too. I could replace this. I'm not really sure what to replace it with, though. Um, if anything, I play a third Archon. Maybe, like, a third one of these. That's not bad. That's not, like, a terrible idea. I should I do that? Just kind of a weird sideboard plan. Kind of a Creature-esque sideboard plan. Is that, is that terrible? Um... But yeah, I thought the deck was, like, fun when you got to do the thing. It takes a lot of patience, though, I feel like. I feel like I meet, might need a bit more, like, early removal stuff. Maybe I can split, like, seals. The seal of cleansing, seal of doom, maybe three and three. But overall, I thought the deck was, like, kind of fun. This was pretty sweet. What, I mean, when you get this down, it's like, you have to deal with your thing on the board. I can, like, I can totally, like, just um, blank a lot of different decks. Maybe this is too slow. Maybe I could just play Archon main deck. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I thought it was, it was kind of sweet. I could maybe work on the mana base too. I don't. I don't know. I thought the. I thought these were fine. This is fine. This is fine, really. Maybe I want to just go to four idyllic tutor. That's all I really wanted to do. Is like I draw one half, I get the other half. That's all I really just wanted to do all, all the time. <laughs> 